welcome back so i have noticed something that uh, in the comments it doesn't show the tags like there so that's an easy fix because we just have to add the function there so i will go to single comment is it uh... so the single post and then there's comment.php right so instead of the HTML special charts here, we are going to change this to check tags. Is that the one? I think that's the function right there. So if I refresh uh, and you see now, we have our tag there this time. Good. Okay, so what we want to do now is to add functionality inside classes. Let's go to the user class where we are creating a user. Where is that? Actually, it should be the sign up. Sign up.php. So create user. So create user is right there. So right here where we are creating the user, what we need to do is create a tag name. So we'll say tag underscore name is equal to so we'll get the first name only uh, that's now first names are quite common so it's up to you you could decide to put the first name and combine it with the last name maybe actually let's do that to increase the odds of it being uh, neutral and then i want to change this to lowercase so string to lower like that so it's all lowercase uh -huh. so now the issue is we it's possible that somebody has that exact tag name so we don't want two tag names uh, so what we will do is we can read from the database so let me come back here for a second Evaluate, let me come back here. Actually, it's just occurred to me that we are not even checking to see if another user with the same email exists. This is uh, highly irregular. So we are supposed to check for these things. Okay, so what I will do is actually, let's do this a little bit uh, earlier than this let's go to the evaluate because this is what the evaluation is for so let's come here for each and we're going through one of these at a time if no error okay so let's do it right after the looping here let's add a tag name so tag name will be added to data, just like we were adding all these other, where is data here? Evaluate data. Okay. So we're going to add it to data. Just put it there like so. Tag name is equal to, just like that. String to lower. Now we don't have first name here and last name, so it's inside, it's all inside data. So I will put data there. Data, last name. Okay, so we are assigning a tag name here. Now the thing is we have to check if the tag name exists or not before we proceed so i will say while actually before we do this let's do an sql here sql is equal to now there is no db in here so let me create that db class so let me copy this so what i want is by the time we come here we don't have any errors to worry about so let me do that there in fact, let me put it right at the top there. So we just do a simple query here. Select all from 
or just say select ID so that we we, we return very little uh, information from users because we're going to discard it anyway where tag name is equal to data tag name like that and I'll say limit one okay so here I have to remove these because I already have quotes and I'm using double quotes outside and so here I will get db save here db read actually so I want to use data here I'll just use something like uh, check is equal to since we are checking for something and this should be read and that's SQL okay so we're doing a check here now if we do find an a result here we have to generate another tag name so instead of trying to guess with text what we could do is just put some random numbers at the end so I will say if if is array check so I don't know why I put brackets at the end at the beginning there for some reason okay so if this uh, okay so instead of using an if statement because what I want to avoid is giving the user an error because the user doesn't even know what this tag name issue is all about so it's not like there's an input box where they can change it or anything so we're not going to give them an error instead let's do a while loop now be careful with these while loops because this loop as it is can go on forever so we would never get to this point so we have to put some way inside here to change the condition to possibly change the condition of check because if we just put it like this it can just loop forever because whatever the original result here will, st will stick throughout the loop so this will loop for as long as this is true so now we need a way to possibly make it false so if is array check then loop again so if this is an array let's recreate this guy here actually what I will do is just say tag name let me copy that and just add something to it plus uh, concatenate equals to and let me just put a random number from 0 to 9999 four digits like so and uh, that should do the trick so there will be the name and then a few numbers at the end so that now data reads something else so that if we do another check here now it's important to do something in inside this loop that involves check that involves the condition so that we give the possibility of the condition becoming a false so let me do this like so so now that we've changed this guy it's possible that now we will not find a result here and then check may become false so this is good it means the loop has a possibility of ending eventually so while this is an array make a new one so once we make a new one and then we read again we define this if it's an array again then we redo but then if it's if it's not an array then it means we haven't found that result then we can keep it so that will remain okay good so at this point actually here we'll keep adding numbers and numbers and numbers that might become too long so what I will do instead is just redo this part right there just redo this so I'll, I won't say and equals I'll just redo that and then just add something to the end and say dot the random number just like that oh I've put this twice sorry about that okay so there we go I think this should suffice now the same thing should be true for email address we should do exactly the same thing here so I'm just going to duplicate this part here we don't want two people with the same email 
and that goes for the user id because some people said uh, in the comments that uh, what if the user id uh, turns out to be similar two similar user ids for example so we can do exactly the same thing here but the thing is we are generating the user id create user id we are doing it in here hmm. so we can just uh, cut this from there where user id or well, instead of cutting it let me do undo and what i will say is copy i will come here so let me be clear here what we are doing check tag name and then let's come down here and check user id so first of all let me paste that here create user id and i will assign this to the data thingy as well like so so that we can send that data here so data user id is equal to create user id now if for some reason uh we find the user id exists so let me let me copy this here and put it there where user id is equal to user id so select id from users and so on limit one check again is equal to that so then we do another check if we find that it's there we simply redo this process here because it's a random generated number anyway and then let me copy the same query again and put it here okay so that does it for the user id so we don't need to tell the user any of this information so that's good but then let's do the same with the let's check the email now so i'm going to duplicate this same part again so from there duplicate and this time i'm going to say check email now we will not have a, a loop here for any uh we'll put an if statement instead because we need to inform the user to type something else so let me remove all that and instead i will put an uh, an error there right there another user is already using that email okay so on the query here we don't need to do this because email is already inside data so i just have to put email there and then email here i think that's a column name let me come down here to confirm yeah it's email all right so if everything went well so let me check this again select id from users where email let's go data email okay so good i think we're good to go here and the only thing is i have to change the reference to the user id here and have to create reference to the tag name so user id here will move let's move this baby up here and let's do exactly what we've done here because the user id has already been generated from the previous section there user id good and then we have tag name in here as well so we are going to add tag name at the very end here so we'll say tag underscore name and let me copy that duplicate this replace it with tag name bam there we go so i think this actually does it so let's try and sign in somebody new and see if we got away with it so log out and sign up so this one will be let's try peter 
eh, whatever that is, man, mail, email. Let's do Peter at yahoo.com. Same password. Password. And let's do a sign up. Goody. So it seems we have signed up. So let's see what will happen when we do sign up. We, we, we do log in, sorry. And there we go. So now we have an ad symbol here that represents uh, literally nothing. So if we go to users here, what really happened? So the tag name is empty. Why is that? Let's come back to the sign up page. So tag name. Okay. Oh, my bad. I didn't actually declare it. Oh. Great. So this variable doesn't exist. That's why it's empty. So we're supposed to do exactly what we're doing here. Duplicate that. Copy tag name. Replace user ID with tag name. That ought to do it. So let me come back to my uh, users table and delete this poor user. And now we are logged out. Actually, one neat feature is I think if I refresh this page, I will be taken to the logout page. Oh, I guess not. Oh, then I will be taken to the login page. Mm. Oh, that's because um, you can load a profile even if you're not logged in. Right. That's why. Okay. So let's go to sign up here and redo our mission again. Peter, man. Gender, email, Peter, password, 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 sign up. So we're back again for Peter, password, login. Okay. So there we go. Now we've got Peter. I have no idea why it chose Peter by itself. Let me come back here and see what's happening. Uh, check tag name. Data, first name, last name. Oh. See these silly mistakes that we make. Uh, I put a, a dollar sign in there. Who does that? But it's okay. It's working. So that's good enough. Let's go down here and we will see. There we go. Okay, so pretty good. Now we have a tag name for a new user and now we can easily tag him. So he can tag himself, I bet. Peter, you have tagged yourself. Let's tag there. And it brings back here. Okay, no notifications we have found. I have no idea why that is. Let's log out. Log in as somebody else. Let's see. Let me say, hey, Peter. Post. Oh, so it does find Peter. So it's all working good now. Everything is working fine. So on our list, we still have a few more things to do. So tagging is done. Let's put a star over there. Great. So remaining with uh, for good password, clean URLs and messages. I may tackle this one, but uh, the general idea of this one is already there. So you could try to figure that out on your own if I don't make it to this one. So mostly it's these two things that are remaining three actually plus that. Okay, so I'll see you in more tutorials.